lung capacities. A combination of lung volumes will give you lung capacities. A combination of lung volumes will give you lung capacities. Inspiratory capacity. Now what is inspiratory capacity? Now, during quiet breathing, so expiration is over. After expiration, the maximum amount of air that a person can inhale, it includes the normal air that a person can inhale by tidal volume and the inspiratory is a volume. The amount of air that a person can take in because of forced inspiration. Inspiratory is a volume is forced inspiration. Tidal volume is normal inspiration. That means after normal expiration, the maximum air that person can inhale is called as inspiratory capacity. Functional residual capacity. What is functional residual capacity? Now, after expiration, see, quiet breathing is going on, inspiration, inspiration, expiration, expiration is over. After normal expiration, the amount of air that is still left behind in the lungs, that is called as functional residual capacity. It includes expiratory volume plus residual volume. We know expiratory reserve volume is the amount of air that a person can exhale by forceful expiration. So this is forceful expiration. Even after forceful expiration, some amount of air left behind in the lungs, it is called residual volume. So functional residual capacity is the amount of air that is left behind in the lungs after normal expiration. vital capacity the maximum amount of air can the air that a person can exhale after taking a deepest breath after taking the deepest breath the maximum amount of air that a person can exhale that is called vital capacity it includes the tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume plus expiratory reserve volume tidal volume is the amount of air the person can inhale or exhale during normal breathing. Inspiratory is a volume, forceful inspiration, amount of air taken in during forceful inspiration. Expiratory is a volume, amount of air that a person can exhale during forceful expiration. So these three together makes up vital capacity. Total lung capacity. Total lung capacity, the maximum amount of air that lungs can hold. Maximum amount of air that the lungs can hold after I take a deepest breath, the maximum amount of air that my lungs can hold. It includes the normal tidal volume, the amount of air that I can inhale or exhale during quiet breathing. It includes the inspiratory reserve volume, which is nothing but the air that I take in by forceful inspiration. It also includes the expiratory reserve volume, the amount of air that I can exhale by forceful expiration, and the residual volume, the amount of air that remains in lungs always. So you can also write it, so instead of these three, I can write vital capacity plus residual volume, both same.
It is either vital capacity plus residual volume or tidal volume plus inspiratory and expiratory reservoir volumes plus residual volume. Now we are discussing about the lung capacities. Lung capacities, I get lung capacities by combining uh, two or more lung volumes. These are lung volumes. When I combine two or more lung volumes, I get lung capacities. Inspiratory capacity after normal expiration. Maximum amount of air that a person can inhale is called inspiratory capacity. Functional residual capacity. After normal expiration, the amount of air that is still left behind in lungs is called functional residual capacity. Vital capacity. After taking the deepest breath, the maximum amount of air that a person can push out. That is vital capacity. And total lung capacity. The maximum amount of air that stays in lungs after deepest breath it is called as vital lung capacity. Now volumes, lung volumes we already have the numericals. When we combine them we get the lung capacities.